Hello, everybody. Welcome to Money Morning Must Knows. My name is Merlin Rothfeld, and here are three very important things to pay attention to for the upcoming trading week. Now, as you all know by now, it's October. The upcoming trading week starts with October 3rd, and it's going to be a wild one. Lots of major announcements, and of course, as we get to the tail end of this year, even more excitement generally comes into the marketplace. We've had a wild year with regards to stocks, Forex, cryptocurrencies, commodities. It's been crazy, and maybe that tail end will even bring in more volatility. Bottom line is it's going to be wild, so let's start things off with what we do know is going to happen, not what we anticipate happening. Let's go into the earnings calendar. Now, this is a very quiet week. There are only 33 companies reporting this week, so a bit of a snooze fest, although there are some major names near the tail end. Now, Monday, you got nothing. It's really, really boring on Monday, but we do see something on Tuesday with Acuity Brands. On Wednesday, we have Lamb Weston and Helen of Troy, and then Thursday, just like last week, is probably the biggest day with regards to earnings announcements. You see some major names like Constellation Brands. McCormick, ConAgra Brands, and Levi's. And for those of you in the cannabis industry, we have Tilray reporting earnings on Friday. Now, of course, this isn't that exciting. Next week is really the major kickoff to earnings season with a lot of the big banks. But those brands, especially ConAgra Brands and Constellation Brands, may create a little bit of uh, market moves for their specific sector. Now, make sure that you check the earnings calendar. Again, there's 33 companies reporting, and I only put a handful of them here, some of the major names. But you should always do your due diligence and look at the earnings calendar to make sure that the companies that you hold in your portfolio are not coming out with earnings or at least going to surprise you with an earnings announcement. Now, let's shift into some bigger, more important stuff. We're going to look at jobs. You heard Jerome Powell talk about it over the past several months on how employment is historically low. Everything's looking really good. Well, is it? Well, we will get some announcements this week with regards to jobs, which may paint a clearer picture about what is really going on. We start things off on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with the JOLTS job openings. On Wednesday at 8.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you have the ADP non-farm employment change, which is a biggie. On Thursday, you have unemployment claims, which is normal. That's at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard. And on Friday, the big daddy, the unemployment rate, which is going to be at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, why is this so important? It's important because Jerome Powell, over the past couple of months, starting really with Jackson Hole, has started to paint this very, very negative picture for our markets. He's using very pointed words that sound very, I don't know, ominous for our markets. He's also said that consumers and businesses should expect to feel some pain. He also says he expects to see moderate GDP de uh, growth declines, meaning GDP starting to slow down. He also cited the unemployment rate is at historic lows and we do expect to see that number rise. Well, we don't know if that's actually impacting the economy at this moment, but I think it is important for us as traders and as investors to keep your eye on this data to see exactly what's going on. What is happening out there with JOLTS job openings and ADP non-farm employment change and ultimately the unemployment rate to see if we can start to spot the trends and how aggressively some of that data may be changing. Now, this, of course, will impact all the equity markets and maybe even some of the emerging markets around the world as they look to the U.S. for guidance as to how the economy is performing, that may create a lot of ripple effects going forward. Now, the other piece that Jerome Powell has been talking about has been rates aggressively raising. The previous meeting was 75 basis points and now expecting another one and a quarter by the end of the year. Oh, the global currency war is on, my friends. Well, let's take a peek at what's happening on the central bank front. We have two major announcements. The Reserve Bank of Australia coming out at 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for you night owls there. That's a good one. That's going to be late Monday night. Now, you can see there it says 2.35. That's where they're currently at. And the expectations vary widely. I've heard as low as zero unchanged all the way up to 1%. From what I'm reading, most of the sources are saying probably going to come out at 50 basis point increase, probably just to keep up with what the U.S. has been doing. Now, Australia has been rather aggressive, but their neighbor directly to the east has been even more aggressive. You can see here that the Reserve Bank of New Zealand is already at 3%, and they're expecting that number to increase as well. Again, we don't know how much. Usually with the U.S., it's very clear. The, we have Fed funds futures to track with Australia and New Zealand, it's not quite as easy. Now, again, they're at 3%, and the expectations are anywhere between 0 and 1%. I'm going to go out on a limb and say both of these come out at 50 basis points. That seems to be in line with the majority of expectations. And New Zealand will be Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, this is important for all of us because if you're trading dollars, it's going to be priced against other currencies around the world. For anybody who's a Forex trader, whether you're trading spot markets or you're trading the futures markets, the Australian dollar on Monday and the New Zealand dollar on Tuesday should have 
wild fluctuations because the expectations aren't really set in yet. People are still hemming and hawing about where they're going to go with regards to rates. So it's probably going to be a surprise to a lot of people how those rates have, are going to come out. Of course, the Australian dollar and the New Zealand dollar have been tanking against the U.S. dollar. And central banks down there may be a bit concerned with how the value of their currency is declining so quickly. And maybe they might step in to make some changes going forward. That, my friends, is your Monday Morning Must Knows. We'll see you next week.